Assessment 3.29 asks us to choose which of the two is most stable. And if there are nothing that's different between the two, then write no difference. That's not the case for either of these. Both of these do have one that is more stable than the other. So for letter A, I see right here two large groups. We have an iso group, an isopropyl group. And then we have a methyl group, CH3, right up against each other. That's the gauche conformation. And then over in this one over here, we have that isopropyl group that is bonded right up all the way, as far away from pos as possible from the methyl group, the CH3 group, in the anti-conformation. And the anti-conformation will always be more stable than the gauche conformation simply because the groups are further away. That means they clash less with one another. That clash eventually will cause hindrance, and we will call that steric hindrance when we start doing chemical reactions and mechanisms. But for now, it is okay just to know that the second one is the answer choice that is the most stable, that confirmation right there. Letter B, we have a bromine with a methyl group here and then a methyl group here. And in the second confirmation, we have all three of those groups running right up against each other. And so both of these are going to be examples of the gauche conformation because none of the, you know, both of the CH3s, the largest groups are not anti from one another in either one of these. However, the first one is going to be the more stable conformation. And the reason why is because you only have two of those groups right up against one another instead of it being three. So while they're both gauche conformation, gauche can have a range from being less stable to more stable. And in this case, the first one is a more stable gauche, conform uh, gauche conformer than what the second one is because all of the groups are right on top of each other and that is going to cause clash. That's going to cause hindrance. So that's it for 3.29. Let me know if you have any questions.